Great opportunity for a young program to measure up against a national championship caliber team. Playing to this level should fuel their play, and they haven't shied away from competition yet this season, playing Denver to a one-goal game and beating a 5-1 at the time Boston University team. Opening face-off between Petey LaSala, one of the best in the country, and Cole Brams, who's won 55% for the Utah Utes. And LaSala wins it for Virginia. And the Cavaliers will attack. Doc Aiken lost the ball, and it's picked up by Sammy Combear. 19 in black. Sophomore out of Flower Mound, Texas. And Utah with its first possession offensively. And Miles, one of the things we'll see, you look up and down this roster. It's not Long Island kids. It's not Massachusetts and Central New York kids, as that shot is saved by Alex Road. They pluck guys from all over the country. Yeah, these non-hotbed kids, they play with a chip on their shoulder. They're used to competing against some of the best players from the more known areas. Ooh. Matt Moore is from a known area outside the Philadelphia area. And play to start the game. It's tough. The guys are getting their legs under, under themselves. Jared Connors, one of their best players in transition. Matt Moore. Shot selection was a little bit shaky, Coach said. This is a great shot for a senior to open up the scoring, get his team flowing, get the left on their side. Against this UVA ride, they're aggressive, but look down the field, you might find an attackman open, uh, far and away who's uncovered by any, any of the defensemen. Dixon against Ruben Santana. Peyton Cormier goes top shelf, and it's 2-0 Virginia. Xander Dixon, this is a great hard dodge from somebody who's able to create for himself and create for others. Peyton Cormier, a known finisher, someone who can score from the inside and out. On that post, looking directly at the 6x6, six six, that's a great shot, great selection. And... Here's Drew Wasserman, marked by Jake Guillory. Wasserman out of South Lake, Texas. Road was out of the cage, gets back in, and Utah gets on the board. MJ McGonagall know the work it takes to get to that level. Moyer on the run. How about Utah? They've tied it at two with 6.34 to go. The Utes not backing down early. Dodging down the alley and scoring a goal on the run. This is a good, hard dodge. I like the way he just gets his body going back towards the goal. As he's getting pushed through contact, this is a phenomenal shot. You can hang your hat on that being a freshman playing in, the, in this big of a game. You can tell Carson by the emotion Moyer. the celebration. Yeah, he can play man of Ryan McMahon. Nice move there. McMahon fires and scores! His second, and Utah with a 3-2 lead. And look at the energy on that Utes bench. This is a huge energy goal. Like I just said, they just scored a goal, won a faceoff. This guy already scored and made his presence felt on the game. What a great move. Dodging hard to his left hand. Dips, dunks, gets the goalie moving. This is a textbook shot. He probably learned that from Will Manny. Bowman just ran three suicides up and down the sideline. He's all fired up. <laughs> He's back in his old haunts, ACC country. And Lars Tiffany's not happy. The sloppiness continues by Virginia. Utah. Fires and scores! Hello! Josh Rowe! Early sloppy play from UVA. They're still shaking off the cobwebs. This Utah team is bringing energy to this game. Full speed down the alley, lefty on the run. He's fired up. The guys around him are fired up. The, their bench is fired up. Also on that list, Danny Gladding, Steele Stanwick, and Kevin Pelkey. Pretty good company. Charlie Bertrand had a hat trick last time out. Two of the cage. Bertrand, the former two time Division II player. Simple razor pick at GLE forced the defense to communicate. If there's no communication there, it's very tough to cover. I believe that's Bertrand's 300th goal of his career. And.
a special one for him. Three, four, three, Utah. Not a typo. Cormier from Schellenberger. And turned away. Schellenberger from X. Moore feeding the crease. Cormier for the slam dunk. 99 assists now for Matt Moore. Coach said this is when the UVA offense is at its best. Their best offensive player distributing the ball, being unselfish, and making his teammates better. On the first go-around, this look was open. They didn't get it. Matt Moore stays patient, sees it again, pass, throws it to his best goal-scoring option. Four hat tricks this season. Ten hat tricks in 18 career games. Cormier plays it to X and Schellenberger. Looking to go topside on Tracy. Now the inside roll. Schellenberger can't get that hand free. Turns around. The exclamation at the end of the question mark. I like this kid's game. This is a very patient play. Goes up to the 5-5. Five five, doesn't have what he wants. Reattacks the 5-5. Five five, uses his defender's momentum against him. He understands that the defender's coming upfield to try to take top side. Turn away on the question mark, and stick that one home. To Cesare, sends it down, field, the chance on an empty net, and Utah scores! Jordan Hyde. Great, great outlet pass. The scouting report against the aggressive ride is that the furthest man away from the ball is going to be the man who's open. Teams are, are taking their chance by chucking the ball down the field, and we've seen two games in a row where defensive players have made money passes on the line right to the attackman, and it's resulted in, in a great goal, a momentum-shifting goal, and a goal that's huge for their team. without the pass from the goalie. Inside roll, Peel. <laughs> Utah retakes the lead at 6-5. They are relentless. Ryan Rogers, the freshman. He flashbacks right now. Ryan Rogers, a guy, when you look at his stats, he doesn't have much game experience. Played in just six games this year. That doesn't matter. Stepping up against the defending national champion. Shoving off a few uh, cross checks. Put one in the back of the net. I know it's got to feel good for a young guy like him. Xander Dixon will take Josh Rose behind the cage. Dixon's got an assist today. Lost his man. Feeds inside to Laviano, who ties it at six. Great patience by Dixon. Uses great change of direction here. Laviano, such a great off-ball movement. Just slides behind the head of this defender. Keeps his stick open. Kind of pauses right in front of the net so he doesn't get too close to the crease. Keeping his angle. Had nine goals in that NCAA tournament run for Virginia two years ago. Here's LaSala. Now he lost the ball from behind. Picked up by Schellenberger. Saved to Chesery. And it trickles in. That one's got to hurt for Utah. At times in sports, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Shot goes off. You got to clean up the ground when it comes to balls getting knocked down in front of the crease. First time ground balls. Pete LaSalle is such a pit bull mentality, just all over the field, no matter what. His little push it. There's Matt Moore against John Rose. Short stick matchup. Moore, top shelf. He had the shorty, he was going to take it. Second goal for Matt Moore. If you're the Utah defense, you have to support the ball more here. This is a senior attackman, a guy who's played in a lot of big games, scored a lot of goals. 
facilitated a lot of assists. You have to support the ball here. He's going to take this matchup 100 times out of 100 times, and that's just a ball player being a ball. Duke on Thursday. In the game against Carolina, he was sublime. Two goals, six assists. Here comes Lasala. Plays it to the wing, and Petey Lasala triggering transition. It's Schellenberger. When Lasala's winning faceoffs, it's instant offense for Virginia. This team is dangerous when the ball's in the stick of 23. He's winning faceoffs, getting ground balls, and Coach is most impressed by his ability to play the game outside of the faceoff. You can't just put him in the category as a uh, Fogo. He, he gets the ball for his team. He makes plays. He's aggressive. He sets his guys. Dixon against Josh Rose. Dixon's got two helpers. That pass deflected by Combear. Garno, lefty bouncer. Virginia starting to progress to the mean. That's five in a row. Momentum on UVA side. They're winning the faceoffs. They're getting the good looks. Their guys are dodging hard. Good roll back here. And strong shot when you see the opportunity. That's a great skip off the roll. Oh, tough. Tough for the defense. Gets the stick on the ball. Gets a stick on the stick. That's just a strip. The western frontier of college lacrosse. Laviano on the doorstep. And that one trickles in. Two for Laviano, six straight for Virginia. It's 11-6. This is Laviano's game. While that one trickles past, Zion almost making that save. He's so deadly inside. Coach said he has to play. He has to be on the field because he gives their team an inside presence that not many other teams can say they have. Laviano, two goals in that first half. Moore head up looking to pass. There's Doc Aiken against Combear. Aiken scores. It's 12 6. Number six in white has been playing very well as of late. Big, strong move. Not many guys can push him off of his track. If he wants to go to the goal in a straight line, he has that capability. Here's a strong, hard dodge against Utah's best defenseman when it comes to their rope unit. Makes a great nifty play. Re ACC tournament this year, a six-game conference schedule. Virginia closes its regular season next weekend against Syracuse. Laviano shot. The Chesare the save. Cormier nearly grabbed the rebound. Plucking it out of the air is Xander Dixon as Virginia cleans up the scraps. Defense, you got to support the goalie, especially on rebounds. Got to clear the crease. Xander Dixon, opportunistic position. Sees the ball, gets the ball, makes the count, puts in the net. Downhill. Utah ending the scoring drought. A flag is down. Carson Moyer, his fourth. This is a tough play. Canadian player, box background, hard lefty dodge. Contact means nothing to him. Fading away. Still gets a hard shot through the contact, through the push. Gets rewarded with a flag on top of it. That's the second time we've seen him. The Utes again, some of that energy that they had back in the first quarter. Playing hard off the faceoff. Rewarding their team with the ball on offense. This is a simple step down from a guy on the wing. Left-handed player. You dream about shots like that. Goes to work on John Rose. Dixon had the step. Skip pass to Garno, and there's the rocket that finds the back of the net. Yeah. Sander Dixon, the ability to create for himself and for others. He gets his ball to Garno. Garno is an exceptional midfielder. He can shoot the ball from deep, and he can shoot it on the run. He puts the shot from range on display there. 
On the flip side, though, don't you want to at least try to get some meaningful reps for a potential insurance policy if something were to happen? I believe that, too. Gavin Ty is their next guy up, and I think he'd be the next guy to kind of get some reps. Hat trick for Peter Garno. Shoot with both hands. And this is straight speed. And like I said before, in his last goal, he scored that from about 14 yards out. He could do it by shooting it by you. He could do it by running by you. Very <laughs> versatile. One of the guys that he'll, that UVA will definitely be able to counter those moves. Now, playing against two-headed monsters is one thing. I think that also allows him to be better um, you know, as the game goes on. Schellenberger's got a hat trick. Good hard dodge. The reason why this play works is because they're the pick. The pick doesn't necessarily cause any contact, but it slows the defender down one or two steps, and one or two steps is all Connor Schellenberger needs. He puts that ball to the far pipe, brings it off. And, and everything that went along with that, that's going to mess up your timeline a little bit. But they were investing in strength and conditioning, in nutrition, and uh, Miles, the model that they really liked was Yale. How Yale has become this player's program as Aiken scores, but emphasis on nutrition and getting guys in the weight. It's Utah program, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. They fought early in this one. Virginia's still the champion, though. To be the shooter and, and you know, take poor shots, UVA is going to suffer. If, it's, if UVA is going to be dodging, moving the ball, and then getting the ball on the backside to, to some of their better players, then they could be a successful team. Another goal for Moyer. He's got a hat trick. Once again, a good, hard, left-handed dodge. That's just a great shot. Also a big uh, cryptocurrency guy, I'm told. I think a lot of people are big cryptocurrency guys these days. <laughs> Off the scramble, another one for Utah. Andriella's fifth of the season. Utah's playing hard from to the last whistle. Riding the ball back, getting an opportunity right in front. It starts with fighting for the ground ball on the end line. Just imagine being a sixth grader wrestling against somebody who's you know, 18 with facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moyer with a four-goal game. He's going to remember this one for a long time. This is definitely Second year hang freshman from the Hill Academy where he played for the great Brody Merrill. Four goals for Utah. Just another hard left-handed dodge. Gets to a strong hand, shoots through contact again. That's a great shot, approaching a slide and getting the shot off. Strong overhand finish, not afraid to get hit. They have some talented young players who need seasoning. And the big thing for Utah will be getting into a conference. They've been playing so far as an independent. Next year, Utah joins the A-Sun. Utah will play in that league with Air Force, Bellarmine, Cleveland State, Detroit Mercy, and Robert Morris. And uh, Brian Holman was telling us, uh, they've been close on some recruits, and recruits will say, well, Coach, I want a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. That's a hard sell when you're an independent. It's much easier when you're in a conference and you can say, hey, we win our conference, and that's what we're building toward. There's an AQ and a path to the NCAA tournament. I was thinking about this as the game grows, right? We're at Utah now. Who do you want to see at a program next? Personally, I'd like to see some of the schools out west in the Pac-12. I think those schools just have a lot of, you know, great facilities. You look at Oregon, you look at USC, uh, UCLA. You can definitely get a kid to come out to the west coast and, and go to school there. 
um, with the facilities and, and just the history of those universities. Um, and they definitely have the money. You know, they make a lot of money, football, basketball, with their other, other sports programs. I think lacrosse is the next big thing for a school like that. I'm with you. Give me the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon. I'd love to see Colorado, natural rival for Denver. BYU, a natural rival for Utah. And maybe one more in the ACC to get to six and get that AQ. Virginia today, after a slow start, finishes strong. The Cavaliers win this one 18-11. UVA bounces.